I am Pinstar, and this is Spellcaster University Strategy and Tactics, Episode 22. So today, as promised, we are going to be spending all day in the dungeon. We are going to see how far we can go and how far we can push our team. Um, but before we, uh, before we do that, let's actually pick out our dream team. Um, so, let's see, local map, arcane, yes. Actually, hang on, because um, I want to. I want the music to go because I remember last time we did this, we didn't get the music. Give the music a chance to. There we go. It's about to say, I don't want to do an entire episode length of dungeon without any music. That'd be a little droll. I mean, yes, I could edit in my own music, but I'm not lazy. Uh, and besides, I like the music in the game. So no, I'm not lazy. I like the music. Okay, there we go. Okay, so now, so we've got a, a, a mix of students here and I'm liking what I'm seeing here. Um, so each of these little pluses here are bonuses, uh, bon traits that help them out. Um, and as we can see here, uh, Paul here, plus one, yeah, courageous, plus one damage dealt to monsters. Where's our uh, worry wiffles at? Uh, they're not as as experienced as they could be. Um, so yeah, like right here, a a, um, a protective ritual five level five sacred magic. Oh yes, and plus retaliation. So all right, so here's my here's my reasoning behind the uh, the 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 reason I focused so heavily on uh, elementalism uh, or arcane and light. So um, we want, there are two active skills we're interested in. Protective rit ritual, which gives everybody shields and elemental storm, which does damage to two different foes. Um, now the helper traits on this do really well. First off, the retaliation, if they get hit, there's a, uh, there, there's a skill percent uh, chance of them firing off their uh, primary attack uh, in retaliation. And that includes the sacred ritual. So if Paul gets smacked, Paul might uh, hit back with more shields for everybody, which just keeps everybody alive. Um, not to mention light um, heroism gives um, lower, uh, lowers all incoming damage to make them tankier. Not to mention, um, what is it? Time magic gives them a dodge chance that, w that can completely avoid damage. Um, and then lastly, the, uh, the portal magic just gives us more gains for everything. So these two, like having these two categories maxed out or as much as maxed out as you can, uh, is going to be like really, really good for us. Uh, so definitely Paul is, uh, Paul, Paul's in here and Paul needs to go up front, um, because we want Paul getting hit so that that, uh, retribution fires off. Now then, uh, we need to find some people with some really good elementalism. Um, and it's kind of worrying not seeing a lot of good elementalism skills here. Um, we've got Ivan here, but you don't have much of anything else. We, we need some, we need some DPS. That's, that's part of the reason why I was going so heavily on that. Uh, I mean, if we had some rogue, um, uh, werewolf with like really good DPS skills that I'd take them, but that's not like, it's not looking like we have that here. Um, so we may be a little shy in damage. Well, let's see what else we've got here. Um, let's see. Life drains another possibility, although I'm not, I don't like it nearly as much as the others. There we go. You are courageous and yeah. And you have a really good, um, now I know you have a better protective rituals uh, skill than um, that, but we, we, we need the extra damage, truth be told. Um, you're going to go up front because you have really good, and I'm going to have you use, yeah, fire, please. Uh, you are going to be really good uh, in the back. Yeah, plus one damage dealt to monsters, and yeah, you're going to do that. Um, 
So who else has really good damaging? Um, yeah, Blood Pacta is another nice passive from the Dark Magic that might let them act twice, but we just need a good, solid active ability. Um, unfortunately, Wild Fury is only level one on this person. That's another good one for single target for, for taking down bosses, but not at level one. We, we need to tap into our resources a little bit more efficiently. Uh, I wish, I mean, we could do Paralysis, but that's only level two. Not feeling it. Not feeling it. Uh, Jackson Brownie with Courageous might be just another DPSer that we can we can work on. Your skills are not as good, but we you're you're a DPSer. Let me just see if anybody else has like any really high level active skill. Ivan Ivan does all right. Ivan. With uh, with a good blood pact, all right. You know what, Ivan? Ivan, you're you're in. And yeah, you're doing some DPS. So now the question becomes: Do we want to make you? Both of these guys can do DPS. Do we want both of these guys doing protective rituals? Um, because that'll just that'll just shield up the group like crazy. Um. Let's do that. I think we can change them later on. Um, if we if we decide um, that we need something else. So, yeah, let's start the adventure. I think this is a pretty good team. And we have um, uh, two, uh, three different races. We got hu two humans, an elf and a um, vampire. So that some of the some of the um, events can yeah, it depends on what, what, you know, you get better outcomes if you have different races. All right, let's start the adventure. Septimus, ex-master, archmage, posthumous, has become well known for his paranoia. His old tower is filled with treasures, but also many treacherous traps and evil creatures tasked with defending the old archmage's territory. Forward! A troll in the middle of the hallway he seems a bit lost, He focuses, but he focuses when he sees your student group and charges with a growl. Um, capture him. Yeah, let's max out our um, kingdom. Let's capture him. All right, so he's going to do six points of damage per hit. That doesn't actually bother me. So, yeah, see how everyone gets tons of shields? And yeah, blood pack triggered, so they get an extra attack. Double dodge, so all of their shields like didn't deplete at all, and then they get more shields. Yeah, this is gonna go the distance. Um. Hmm. Can I um? All right, this may be a little slower going since I can't uh, flip one of them to uh, extra offense. Yeah, we don't have the right key. Forward, strange door. Um, try to force it open. Two arcane elementals. This don't this don't bother me. I sleep. Yeah, they both get the the infernal procs. All right, dark darkness seems to be thriving inside this temple dedicated to the most sinister and malevolent gods in this world. At center, a lich and its servants seem to be awaiting your valiant students. Uh, so we could, yeah, max out um, the Inquisition here. Could get shripped, uh, shripped, crypt and shadow room, or a butt ton of gold. Um, actually, I kind of want the gold. Gonna be honest here. Um, we'll we'll find other ways to get that. Um, yeah, I like I like the gold. And see how see in that that nine sixty in parentheses. That's from our portal magic boosting our our uh, resource gain here. So yeah, it's just all kinds of good stuff. <laughs> These guys do not scare me. Well, bam, well, bam. Well, bam. Yes. Yeah, there's that retaliation. 
The lich hits everybody, but that has the chance of triggering everybody's retaliation. Not a single scratch is going on anybody. Because the shields keep flowing. Warg meal. A group of wargs are sharing the remains of a reckless adventure. Thankfully, they haven't seen you. Let's attack. Oh yeah, Kingdom and Adventurers Guild. Now these guys get each get double attacks, but if we burn them down quickly enough, if you remember that the last time our, our stuff didn't go well, it was these guys um, that did us in, but that was also a much higher level. So yeah, forward! A group of goblins guarding the room. They do not seem to be negotiating type, and um, combat seems inevitable. Elementalism um, is at least 12. Yeah, let's burn them. Ah, we needed two crypts to get that. Forward. New flavors. I think these little bands mean these are like rarer encounters. You meet an enthusiastic halfling. He grips a large leader and is carrying an enormous cauldron and various kitchen utensils. He says he's here to, to discover new culinary flavors. Um, let us find it for you. We know this place well. Let's let us walk ahead and we'll bring back some new flavors. Well, good luck. Yeah, we'll take uh, we'll take this one. To find something for the halfling, something edible, preferably beyond that, the rarer, the more precious, the better. Um, yeah. Oh, so we can make go harder or easier. Yeah, let's go hard fight here. Soft boiled dragon egg. Let's do this. It's snack time. Yep, there's the seat. He gets hit, he retaliates by buffing everybody with more shields. Now, granted, single target is not great for um, elementalism, but still, and this is why we put the retaliation folks in the front, or the high, the kids with the highest retaliation in the front. There's that another retaliation, more shields. Look at look at their shield totals right now. Like not even close. We I, all right. We did technically suffer a hit point because this kid was at 15. But I think somebody has herbalism. No, no, nobody has herbalism. Okay, so yeah, they're gonna keep that one on the chin, but they'll be fine. Some goblins gathered around the fire, seemingly for more food stuff. Um, ooh, we could get a phoenix feather. Yeah, we want a phoenix feather, just in case we get some bad RNG and someone gets the drop on us before we can shield up. <laughs> and when you have groups, the elementalism, that's when the elementalism shines. Me enthusiastic halfling. Oh, again? Yeah, let's do same same deal and same deal. More dragon eggs. We're gonna get so much freaking gold. Because uh, I wanna I wanna go digging deep in the um... Ouch, what do you mean ouch? They didn't even scratch your shields. I mean, it does do 13 damage a hit, but that's nothing compared to the shields that we're putting up every single round. And time travel just freaking negates that if they whiff. So yeah, even though we're just kind of plinking away at the dragon, he's not plinking away at us. To be certain. Uh, the black gem. You stumble upon a large black gem on the pedestal. It looks inanimate, but undoubtedly holds a, houses a dark power. Um, no. Unleash its potential to get a bunch of that. Could we sign a... Ooh, uh, sign a pact. Uh, demonic, a demon tapestry and a demonic chamber. Yeah, I'll take those. Forward! Group of wargs. Um... Weapons Rack and Wolf's Tooth, but we'd lose our Phoenix Feather. Um, yeah, let's just attack and give him a proper burial. Uh, 
Ooh. All right, yeah, good, good, good retail on those extra shields. Look at that. And and when they retail the 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 demonology has a chance of triggering for a double action. So you could just get double. Look at that. He just keeps re, he just keeps casting and casting and now they're up to 50 shields. Oh. Black gem. Um I mean, we could get just a metric F ton of shadow mana, but this is two draws and two good ones too. So we just keep signing packs. Um, more Phoenix Feathers, good. There we go. <laughs> Whiff, retaliation. So even when you, if you miss, you miss. If they hit, it still doesn't go end well for you. The wandering architect, a heavily armed dwarven warrior, hails you. She twirls her large sword and explains that she's been studying the architecture around here and hopes to becoming a master builder, but needs some protection while she takes notes. Killing goblins is quite distracting. Uh, why not? Yes, we will protect you. Uh, Dwarven Warrior is taken with the excitement as she looks to the roof and discover a gigantic ribbed vault, which is apparently fascinating. It's up to you to get rid of two trolls that live here. Um, here are some fire spells. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll get some arcane, a little arcane magic. Get a couple of trolls, only do eight damage. Ah, pathetic. And we we are going to be hitting both of them every single time. Granted, they they hit two things on us, but that doesn't bother me. Retaliation, more shields. <laughs> yeah, I am glad we did two and two here. We barely finished with the trolls when the dwarf wanders away to admire a flying buttress, which, according to her, is from ancient gnomish civilizations. It's all well and good, except nearby a group of creatures don't seem to give a flying buttress about architecture. Um, goblin, demon, goblin ward. Let's fight. Let's get that warg nice and toasty. Good. upon the infernal forces to bless us more efficiently <laughs> whiff demonic whiff whiff <laughs> demonic whiff and now a retail <laughs> I don't know if you can retail on a whiff the dwarf finishes her scribbling and thanks you profusely. She hints that uh, she learned represents a major leap forward in architecture. She would like to reward you. Um, oh my god. Double dormitory? I mean, yeah, the other things are nice, but uh, gazebo, gazebo, gazebo. No. Um, alchemy? Mm, lots and lots of library? No, we want dormitories. Honey bunches of dormitories. Let's keep going. Putrid smell that assaults you is on a sequel. These are the peatlands where smart, slimy marsh dragons are found. Hey, wasn't this one of the swamps or the sewers quest? Oh well. Let's not attract too many. Uh, let's clean this place up. Uh, more prestige and more with the peasants? I don't see why not. Now, these guys might start hitting us a little bit harder, but I still think we're going to be doing pretty well. Splat. Splat. Oop, all right. About to say, they did some hit point damage there. Plat. Retaliation, plat. Paul's definitely got the time travel um, chance, much better tr chances there. All right, now we're starting to wear him down. And see, this is why I'm glad we have some Phoenix Feathers. Just in case we get some, some a string of, of uh, you know, damage that, um, that eats through our shields here. 
continue. Hungry for knowledge. Rats. Big ones, that is. Currently uh, devouring a power pile of books and scrolls should we interrupt their meal. Save the scrolls. Um, celerity. Bark skin or finger of death. Spell books. Get spell book. Ah, we don't have enough to... Uh, we don't have enough. We don't have enough um, temporal magic to uh, get to, to get the greedy option. All right, celerity, bark skin. Uh, I mean, spellbook's pretty good. Um, yeah, save the spellbook. These rats are doing a lot of damage. Ten, ten apiece. We might not be able to... to Alright, we can get rid of one of them. Oh good, they're, they're attacking other people. Dink. Whiff. <laughs> Double roasty toasty. Um, let's see here. Uh, yeah, we want money. <laughs> more money, more, more good. Yeah, so cultists buff do do what we do here. Hopefully, we have enough offense to. Yeah, there we go. Kill one of the cultists. Yeah, there's that retal. And now the lich without his cultists, not so not so scary. Forward. He is completely overgrown. Crude stone circle stands in the center of the room. In the middle of the shines a small green emerald. Get the emerald. Um, let's get the emerald. You approach the emerald. Marvelous spring to life. They're trolls. They don't seem friendly. Let's fight. We get a whole metric f ton of nature mana. All right, this might be a little dicey. Because these guys are beefy and they hit two of us at the same time. Yep, we're starting to take health damage. All right. If we can kill one of them, unfortunately, yeah, we need some time travel procs. Or retals for, for more shielding. Down to four. Yeah, this might be our. If we if they can't if we can't kill them, because we can't aim our spells here. Yep, there goes one. So close. Oh, thank you for not. All right. Shoot him! Shoot him! Aha. Uh -huh. Shoot them! Oh my god, why are you bringing them down to one? Yeah, there goes Paul. You are spreading your damage so thin, kid. This is like... Oh my god, it's coming down to the wire. Wow! Resurrected. Um, resurrected. Um, then we're calling it. We we we're gonna have to. We 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 were able to keep keep a, enough going here, but you know what? I think this is a pretty darn good haul. Still need to work on my offense, because again, be, best offense, uh, best defense is a good offense. Um, so maybe it would have been better to have three attackers and maybe our, if we had higher, more potent attackers, I don't know, but I'm, I'm, I'm happy with our, our th expedition. Let's go back. Sorry, Hilda Waters and uh, water to, um, got quite a bit of rep, um, lots of goodies. Let's leave the dungeon and oh my God, that's a lot of money. 
Well then, um, <laughs> all right, well, let's place all of these before we end the episode here. What do you want? You want to, you want to sell me a dragon? Yeah, I'll, I'll buy a dragon. White dragon, blue dragon, white dragon. Let's just get these out of here. All right, we got some demonic chambers to place. Uh, or demonic chambers to upgrade, but no, I think I think placing them is a good good fit here. Cause yeah, demonology we need we need more demonic chambers. Like period. Um, we also yeah we also need some some goodies here. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna refractory here. Then we're going to trophy room here, right there. Uh, and then demonic chamber over here. Fun round belly, looks good to me. Inspiring researcher, that's fine. Um, and then demonic chamber up here. Uh, and then dormitory right here. Um, and then Students Hall over here. Actually, Students Hall over here makes a little bit more sense. And then we get another dormitory over here, just to start bridging this gap. Uh, and then we got another Students Hall that we could place, potentially. Or level up. Or yeah, you know, we'll put one over here. Okay, spell book. Spell book goes in the trophy room. Demonic tapestry. Actually, you know what? Um, pentacle goes in here. Um, demonic tapestry. Marination. Marination. All in one cauldron. Goes here. Orc Hound goes up here. Um, what do we have? What 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 pet do we have down here now? The purple dragon, I think. Yeah, white dragon goes down here now. Purple dragon. What's the, uh, what's in here? Is this the Milliwing? Witch's Cat. No. Purple Dragon belongs here. Witch's Cat can go um, over here. Another all-in-one cauldron um, can go down here. Phew! Okay. Um, got all those placed. Now let's just pull from our decks and see what else we can get. Uh, Wolf's Tooth. Um, yeah, faster. Faster's good. Stable Dolmen Green. Uh, yeah, we'll go for the Dolmen, because that's the one we don't have yet. Uh, Clumsy Pretentious, Round Belly. Yeah, it's fine. Parkafit. Do we want more Parkafits? Not particularly. Plant that eats scholars' hands. Yeah, let's go for that in the trophy room. Um, and drag orc. Component. Uh, pig chamber. We'll go pig chamber. We'll level you up. Uh, Manivore Snake. Clan Banner is also uh, uh, a good one, but no, Manivore Snake, I think, is the correct answer. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much the only place we can put it, but this is a decent floor. Um, ooh, Herbalist Boards. Uh, Marination Tech. Get you in there. 
shamanistic um, or another greenhouse or uh, we'll put you in in here in the druidism class most likely place to trigger it private bedroom um, or new house kind of like the new house actually because I have an idea for this new house um, private apartments yeah we could do something like that with the teachers rest over here uh, more dormitories we always take more dormitories no matter what Nor new dormitories are always 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 taken um, we can just level up our alchemy room we don't need another one we just level it up library uh, ooh, library in here that that's a perfect place for that more dormitories I know we could level them up I don't care now now because this allows us to get vampire uh, tech and also gives us more marination spots more dormitories holy crap Um, another psychologist, I think, is a is a good thing here. Just for, just because we have so many uh, sanity dropping things here, having more of these is good thing. And another dormitory, my God. Okay, so with this many dorms, we can go back to paid dorms. Um, you know what? I'm gonna let I'm gonna do uh, free meals at the refectory. Let uh, let let our students eat faster because we're not really marination teching them there. So that's that's fine by me. All right. You know what? Here's what we're gonna do before we end the episode. Let's 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 roll over into winter and do a round of graduation. See where we stand there. But we got plenty. Plenty of places for our students to sleep, so nobody should be leaving the stu the school um, to go snooze. All right, let's see what we got here. An inquisitor. Um, you can do better than that. Eh. Magic teacher. You can do better than that. Time emissary. Temporal uh, magic and heroism. Interesting. I'll take it. Um. We don't need the assassin. I'll take the magic teacher. Bounty hunter. I'll take bounty hunter. Protective spirit. We can do better. Um, ooh. Yeah, I'll take ghoul. Ritual priest. Uh, let's go for ghoul. Nope. Demon hunter. Uh, efficiency of truth rooms. I'll take that. What are these? Retribution, demonology, demon hunter, adventurer. Uh, go for ghoul? Go for ghoul. All right, that's that. All right, still no corrupted pyromancer. So in our next episode, I think we're going to pivot to try and uh, make our uh, start working on that. Uh, so if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent, your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar signing out. See ya!